What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add our events to our venue pages for our app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add our events to our venue pages. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to add all of the events that are happening in a particular venue to that venue's page. Now, in the last video, we added these things here on the admin dashboard. So we see our venue listed here. If we want to see what events are there, we can click on this and we go to this simple page. In this video, we want to just go to the page that just lists all the venues. And when you click on a particular venue, this is like the page for that particular venue. We want to add those events here. And if we come back here, and check one that like doesn't have one. We can see uh, no events scheduled at this time. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, so let's head over here to our events views.py. And if we look in the last video, we set this up to grab the venues by querying the venue database, the, the venue model, and then looking up all of the events in this event set, grabbing them all, passing them into a variable called events, and then passing that into the page, looping through and outputting it. So we can do the same basic thing in the show venue page. Now in the show venue function, we already have this line, so we don't need that, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then I'm going to control F and let's go show underscore venue. And here's our show venue function. And here I could just paste this in. So like I said, we're already querying the venue model, getting all of the venue stuff, right? And we're using the venue ID to look up a particular venue, right? So venue one, that would, you know, look up venue one, whatever that is. And we're passing that in, in the URL already. So then we can take this, which is the query of the venue model, and then we can you know, look for just the events like we did in the last video. So pretty simple. Now we just want to come down here and add this to our page. So let's go events, colon events. Okay, that's all there is to that. Now let's head back up to our templates in our events directory. And let's look at that venue events file that we looked at in the last video. So here's the code that we use to output the events onto that page. So I'm just going to copy this. And we go over to our show venue page, and here it is. And I'm going to come down here, and let's put a line break, and let's just say test, just to make sure this is the right spot. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C, my club, my club website directory. My virtual environment is turned on, and let's run our server. Make sure this is working. Head back over to the site, and let me log back in. Make sure this is all right. Okay, so now I want to go to venues, all venues, and if we click on city park. Boom, here it is. Got our image of our pool, and there it says test. So, okay, we're in the right spot. Now we just need to paste in this code from the last video. And there we go. If we go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit refresh, there's a list of our events. Okay, so that's nice, but if this particular venue doesn't have events, we need some logic in there to make sure that works. And let's also put a little header to make it look nice there. So let's come up here. And let's say what, give it an H3, maybe something like that. And let's say events at this venue dot, dot, dot. I don't know, save this, <laughs> come back, hit reload. All right, that looks nice, I guess. And I want a line break at the bottom here because that's getting kind of all scrunched together. I don't know, maybe a couple of them here just to give this a little style, maybe another one here, something like that back over here, hit reload. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, but now we need the logic here. So let's head back over here. And let's come up here. And let's say let's make a little if statement. Let's say if events. So if there are events do all of this stuff, right? And then we want else. And we also want to end our if. And inside of here, we might just say no events scheduled at this venue or at this time, let's say, whatever. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit reload. Okay, that stays the same. 
But now if we go back to our venues and uh, let's just grab another one here, it says no events scheduled at this time. Okay. So that's all there is to it. Pretty simple, right? And we can click on any of these and go to the event page. So that's cool. And uh, pretty simple. So, you know, like I said, we did most of the heavy lifting of this in the last video when we worked on this section right here of our admin dashboard. I think it's just kind of nice to have it on the actual venue pages themselves. And uh, yeah, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeview.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeview.com, and I'll see you in the next video.